Hello guys and welcome along. Today we're going to be doing another review video. Today it's of the Black & Decker electric rake. This is also doubles as a scarifier. It's a 600 watt motor. Powered by the mains, it's got a 10 meter cable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get it out of this box, show you how it's assembled, and then I'm going to test it out in the garden and let you know what I think. Right then, let's have a look see what's inside. So, plenty of packaging. First you've got the handlebar, which has got the pull cord that you pull to power the thing. It's obviously connected all up electrically, so in the middle here we've got the collector. This sits at the front of the uh, device and catches all the stuff that it pulls out. I'll show you all that in a second. A bit more packaging, plenty of cabling. Got a few bits and bobs of screwing things together. We'll have a look at those in a sec. Then you've got on the left here some poles. I imagine they are for extending the uh, handles. Then you've got the device itself. Actually quite light. And of course some instructions. So here's all the stuff that comes in the box. You've got the rake itself, the container that catches all the stuff that it rakes out, extensions for the handle, the handle itself with the cable which is attached to the main raker, and some bolts and screws for fitting it all together. So you're going to need a screwdriver for the screws. I just happen to have one handy here. First we need to attach the extended handles onto the main handle itself using the bolts and screws provided. I'm going to screw it on the long side because there's two holes here so you can make it a bit longer if you want. I'm freakishly tall so I'm going to do that. Okay, so we've now got the handle. Next we put it in there. The front pouch simply clips into place like so. On the side at the back here you've got an adjustable wheel. This allows you to set the ride height so you've got one, two or three. One is minus two millimeters so it will dig into the ground a bit and aerate it. Two is three millimeters that's for kind of raking out moss that kind of thing and three is eight millimeters that's probably more for raking up leaves and you literally pull the thing and then turn it around to the next section, that moves it down and then turn it again, pull it and turn it again to make it even lower. So to start it you hold the button down there and pull the lever. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use, you just walk up and down with it. The cable can be a little bit awkward, so if you've got the money and you're going to be using a lot, I might advise getting a more expensive cordless one. Um, because of the way it works, it kind of pulls you along, so that means that you don't have to push it very much because the, the rotor blade uh, pulls you along the ground. Um, I found that because the basket is open topped as you saw previously, uh, sometimes the stuff that's raked up can kind of fly everywhere if it's windy or if it's very dry and dusty. Um, the basket as well doesn't hold as much stuff as I would have liked and um, I found I had to empty it fairly often. My garden's probably about 50 meters squared and every time I went up and down I had to empty it at the bottom of the garden. So there we have it guys, the Black & Decker electric rake. It's done a really good job in my garden. I've managed to get four massive bags of moss out of the grass. That's the first time it's ever been done so I expect it will be uh, a lot less next time. Now that I've aerated this I'm going to seed it and then hopefully in a few weeks I'll have a beautiful crown green bowling lawn. If you have been guys thank you for watching. Please let me know if you've got any tips or comments about this aerator. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit subscribe to be notified of my new videos and I'll see you in the next one.